but um, because we had a late start, I think we are only going to go as far north as um, uh, Nisot tonight, which we were there, you know, that was the first video from. Um, uh, yeah, so we're going to spend the night there. Uh, I basically just wanted to quickly cover, um, well, I wanted to get some of the, uh, the gorgeous, uh, <laughs> the gorgeous uh, landscape that's around here. Hopefully uh, in the next few minutes we'll see, uh, um, you'll get a bit of a, more of a panoramic of it. Um, uh, <laughs> as well as the, the gas station there. <laughs> yeah, all the sites again. Um, uh, yeah, the last three days. Um, uh, right -o. Yeah, basically we did, um, uh, through a local operator in Umpang, we did a, basically a, a, a three-day, two-night tour, uh, which was um, which was pretty pretty good. Uh, it basically encompassed, encompassed uh, a bit of uh, uh, rafting down a river. Um, some, some pretty good uh, forest trekking uh, and um, you could do an optional thing where you could go on the last day in the mo morning of the third day you could actually go on a um, <laughs> just checking behind me because I should be facing the other way this is a note to you um, especially if you're traveling on the on the top of buses I'm on top of um, I don't know if you can see it uh, They have very low uh, power cables that are strung across the street, and they will, they will deep, you know, they will knock you out or uh, do even, you know, more damage um, if you don't uh, get down quickly, sort of thing. But I think I should be all right on this one. I might, you know, I might be occasional small tree branch, but uh, it should be, you know, dodgy and stuff. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah, the three-day tour. Basically, um, the first day. to be confused with the, the, the infamous uh, Mekong River in Laos and Cambodia, but the Mekong River, uh, it's a small river, it's its not actually marked in any of the, the, the guidebook maps, but it is, uh, it is a, a beautiful, beautiful river to go across. Uh, oh yeah, hang on a minute.
Pang Wildlife Sanctuary. Uh, and a, a little bit more of a drive into the sanctuary, from obviously from the gate uh, to the headquarters, where, where there's a campsite and you can stay the night. Um, the tour group arranged for me to, because I'd <laughs> lost my, uh, or get my tent away on the last uh, part of this journey. Uh, yeah, the gummy bear covered tent. Um, uh, but that was no worries, because uh, they, they actually, these tour companies can lend you sleeping bags, they can lend you a tent. I stayed in one of their tents that night. Uh, uh, it was fine. Uh, also, the campground uh, headquarters uh, does have a shop if, you, if you've got no food with you or whatnot. Um, they've got all the essentials, yeah, they've got beer. infused with lemon juice or something but uh, it did work it kept them off uh, although saying that they weren't that bad um, obviously they'd be a bit worse in uh, rainy season uh, anyway um, oh yeah the, uh, the the entrance fee for the headquarters and that uh, uh, wildlife sanctuary in general that was uh, 200 buck which is um, obviously it's about four English quid or uh, um, six US Canadian dollars not much at all really Yourself, but it's going to be pretty almost near that, so it's pretty, pretty lovely. Hang on a second. <laughs> uh, yeah, not your conventional bus stop, eh? Um, uh, yeah, so that, that that's good for exploring uh, the actual um, the waterfall <clears throat> and all around there. It's actually tiered in about three or four different layers uh, levels. I mean, so you've got to like um, hike up to the different layers, uh, which makes it more interesting. And they're not marked, so they're they're a lot more fun sort of thing. Um, oh. <laughs> Just getting his luggage off. Um, uh, yeah, so that's. Uh, that makes it more fun and a little bit more adventurous. Um, yeah, day two um, basically consists of trekking. Uh, it's about uh, two hours trekking, uh, and it's up and uphill and downhill um, uh, through the <laughs> through the forest and stuff. Um, I think actually I'm going to put it on pause for a little bit because uh, <laughs> loading a whole load of more stuff up, and I'm losing a bit of space here. Hold on just a second.
yeah, welcome back again. <laughs> um, uh, what was I on about? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, obviously two hours of tracking. And, oh, well. See that house there? That, and don't laugh, that is my dream house. I'm hoping to one day build one. Uh, maybe not in Mississippi as I first thought, but um, somewhere in the world uh, where I can get planning permission. <laughs> that's that's what exactly what I want. Something with a bigger porch though, so I can, uh, you know, uh, you know, see the sunset and uh, you know in comfort and stuff uh, anyway um, what was about? oh yeah two hours of trekking in the morning uh, I'm not gonna lie to you it is a bit up and downhill uh, and it's uh, even in the, allegedly this is winter time here or the winter season um, and uh, I found it a bit uh, tough going because of the heat and stuff and uh, obviously I, I, I was uh, carrying up my full backpack and stuff which uh, most people that do these um, tracks don't because they mostly take the uh, the tour, tours actual equipment with you. Um, oh yeah, on, on the subject of water, whoops, uh, um, the actual guides will provide you with all the water that you'll need for that and uh, a couple of uh, cokes as well for uh, the, uh, the, the three days. I might have to shout a little bit louder now because uh, we're going, um, going over the pasture and uh, I don't know how uh, effective my, um, <laughs> the microphone is on this. Um,
thing. Check this out. Um, I don't know what they're called, but they're they're fast vehicles, and it looks like the boat is fast. They're ace. Uh, 15 minutes.